Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal for those of you who are new here and welcome to my fashion and lifestyle channel. If you were not new then welcome back girl. So in today's video as promised I'm going to be sharing with you guys some designer inspired pieces or you know designer dupes however you want to say it. But yeah all these things are just things that I've accumulated you know through the years. Some of these things I've had in my wardrobe for a little bit and some of them are fairly new. So and they're all like designer inspired because I'm the type of person that you know I want to look good and I love the designer pieces but sometimes I just don't want to invest in some of the more trendier designer pieces so I'm all about getting the look for less because we can you know have the look you know designer look but I believe you can also have the designer look for less so so if you guys want to see all the designer dupes that I have for you guys then just keep watching all right so I have some pieces in different categories I have some clothing pieces I have some shoes some sunglasses um, handbags and some jewelry and also some beauty pieces because I do believe that you can also save money when it comes to your beauty products as well so we'll just start with the earrings because I only have two pair of earrings that I want to share with you guys and these are probably the most exciting dupes that I found here recently um, I have been trying to like look for some you know dupes of these particular earrings you probably you guys probably already know what I'm talking about and they are the Bottega large drop earrings I'll try to pop a picture on the screen so you guys can see and kind of compare the dupe to the original and these I have my phone here to kind of like compare and you know look at these pieces but the ones from Bottega are 1350 and these are some beautiful earrings I love them but I would never pay 1350 for some earrings like this like no I would never do that so even if I had all the money in the world I don't think I would spend that much money on these earrings because they're just they're trendy but they do look kind of classic but for me I don't think I would invest like I don't know maybe if I wear the designer dupe one maybe if I wear those a lot I may invest in the you know original ones but as it stands I like the designer dupe better so the first um pair I have and I got these in gold and also got them in the silver and I got these off Amazon and so here are the dupes here and let me just take them out of the little packaging here um, I just recently showed these actually in a recent one of my recent videos but yeah here are the Amazon dupe like I don't know you guys let me know like I feel like this is probably the perfect dupe like when you wear these no one will know like they'll no one will know They'll they won't know if they're a dupe or if they are the original Bottega ones like look how spot on these are like it should be illegal to sell these on Amazon really <laughs> but you know it is what it is like it doesn't have any branding on it to like tell you that it's Bottega or anything like that the packaging doesn't come and you know let me just show you the packaging the packaging doesn't in any way tell you that it's from Bottega just regular old smegular you know packaging so it's nothing that's saying it's Bottega but it's definitely inspired by Bottega so um and I love these like I said I've been looking for some like this I've sent I found some smaller ones which I do have but um these are definitely probably the best dupe I've seen so far and yeah these are on Amazon so those are the gold ones so I'm going to show you guys what the silver ones look like they're just the same size or just in the silver and I think I like the silver ones better I don't know I'm kind of feeling these silver ones a little bit better but yeah as you can see just like a total dupe of the Bottega ones like I love these and for a fraction of the of the of the price too like the ones from Bottega like I said are $13.50 I got these on Amazon for I think $23.99 I think I, if I'm not mistaken I think they're like $23.99 25 bucks you know with tax but I love these and I think these are probably the best dupe that I found of any high-end piece so definitely check out the ones from Amazon you know if you've been seeing the ones from Bottega and you just like I want to get those but I don't know if I want to spend the money try the you know the dupe alternative and see how you like it but that's definitely a spot-on dupe and definitely glad I found those on Amazon all right, the next dupe that I want to talk about are some shoes. We'll go with the shoes now because I don't have many shoes to share with you guys. Um, so I'll just go with the shoes. Um, so yeah, so the next dupe I want to share with you guys are some sandals. And these are a dupe of the row, the ones by row. I think they're called the Ginza. Yeah, the Ginza sandal. And these sandals are $990. Like who's going to pay $900 for some sandals or $900 for some flip flops? Not me, girl. No. So I have the designer dupe here and I got these actually, I think, I have, I think I've had these for two years before I even knew they were a dupe of the row. And these I got from Misguided. I can't remember what website I got these on. I'm thinking I may have gotten these from ASOS, but I've had them, I want to say a 
few years maybe and I just love these like these are the perfect dupe of the ones by the row and I didn't pay probably over $30 for these but I also found some on pretty little thing I think pretty little thing also sells some similar to this and I'll try to link down in the description box any other dupes that I found for you guys for the higher end piece. So just be sure to, you know, check down there. And I'll try to put it in categories to kind of keep it more organized for you guys. So it won't like a jumbled up mess in the description box. But yeah, um, and these ones by the row also come in black. And I do have somewhat of a version um, in black too. They're not similar, not, not all that similar, not that quite that similar as the ones um, from misguided they're in the white but they're close enough so um but yeah 990 dollars for some flip flops girl no like get the, definitely get the dupe when it comes to this because i mean even though you know flip flops i wear them more so than i probably do any shoes in the summertime like spring and summertime like they're not shoes that i wear year round and i wouldn't invest in you know shoes like this um because i'm not wearing them year round like if i were if i was wearing them year round like they are a year round shoe then I probably would pay $900 for them because I do have some $900 shoes that I'm going to share with you guys. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't spend that much money for some flip flops. I just, I just couldn't see myself doing that. So definitely get the dupe. Um, like I said, these the ones I have are from Misguided, but they do have some, I think they still have them on Pretty Little Thing, but I will try to find some alternatives for you guys down in the description box. So be sure to check down there. So that is the next dupe and that is the Ginza sandals from the row. All right, and the next dupe I wanna talk about are the dupes of like the platform heels um, or like the platform sandals from Versace and also from Valentino. You know, we know they're infamous for their platform heels and I think they were really huge last year. I don't think they're as big. They're still available though, but they were huge, you know, last year. And I think now with the Barbie movie out, I think they're starting to like make a resurgence, you know, with the platform heels. Um, but I got some dupes and I gotta be honest, I hardly wear these shoes and I'm glad that I got the dupe version because there's no way in the world I would, I feel like I would never get my money's worth out of the designer brand than, as opposed to the dupes. Like I just know I wouldn't. So, and they're shoes that I don't wear often. So why invest in something that I'm not going to wear often? Like if I want to have a little fun and every now and again, then, you know, I would just do the alternative. So I have mine here that I got from ASOS. No, these are from Zara. I'm sorry. Um, and these are from Zara. I got these, I think I got these last year. And so these are just the perfect dupe of the ones from Valentino slash Versace. And they're just so pretty. And I love this green color. I fall in love with green. And yeah, I hardly wear them. And they're like in this satiny kind of fabric. And I think that's why I don't hardly wear them is um, because of the fact that I'm scared I'm going to get a, get them dirty. But I definitely I will have these for like a special occasion, you know, because if I need a special occasion shoe, I don't have to worry about running out, you know, scurrying, trying to find one. I have them in my wardrobe and I just, like I said, love these. I have, I have worn these before. I want to say during, you know, for a special occasion, but um, they're definitely a special occasion shoe and they're so comfortable. The, the fact that they're a platform really is what make them comfortable because the heel is so high, but because it has this platform it just makes it easier to walk in more comfortable to walk in so I love that aspect about it but yeah so this is the first dupe that I have from Zara and the next dupe I have are these and these are I think are more so of a dupe of the ones from Valentino and I actually found some similar to these on Mango I'll link down below as well but yeah these are got from ASOS and um, again these are a platform but they have like a little bow detail here on the toe part and I, I just love these these are definitely a these are, are like a you know holiday shoe like to wear you know Christmas time New Year's Eve that kind of thing um, definitely like a little party shoe and they are super heavy <laughs> these are really heavy like yeah I, I'm trying to think if I've worn these before I'm sure I have because they kind of worn on the back on the bottom of them so I'm sure I've worn these but like I said I don't wear them much because I don't go out much but these are definitely a good going out shoe and like I said they're comfortable and I just love these so so yeah so these are the next dupes that I have of the um, platform shoes from Valentino or you know uh, Versace whichever one because they both do great um, platform heels but girl if you if you are a, a lady that you know you go out a lot and you know you go to events and stuff and you love heels then I would say invest in the designer you know the designer brand or the designer version but like I said if you're like me and you're not really a party girl you don't go out to you know events and things like that then I go for the dupe because 
like I said, when I do go to an event, I'll have these and I'll I'll be better. I'll feel better about getting the dupe than I would the designer brand. So, but yeah, so that is the next designer dupe, and those are the Versace or the Valentino platform heels. All right, so we're gonna switch it up a little bit here. I've been sharing with you guys the dupes. Now I'm gonna share with you guys the higher end version and then show with you guys a dupe that you can get instead of the higher end version. And so my high end version, my only high end version that I have um, in this video are my Prada loafers. And I have them in like this little shoe um, spreader or shoe widener thing because these are so uncomfortable. <laughs> these are so uncomfortable and I'm just gonna be honest, I wish I wouldn't have gotten these or maybe I would I wish I would have gotten them in a bigger size um, I don't know why I didn't exchange them at the time I just I just kept putting it off and then by the time I was ready to exchange them for a bigger size it was too late so I'm um, just was stuck with these uh, loafers and I love them I love the color and every time I wear them I get questions about them and even in, I think I styled these up in a video of how to style loafers I'm pretty sure I styled these up and I get questions about you know where they you know where I got them and the comfort and so yeah these are definitely not the most comfortable um, especially in like the size that I got I feel like you need to size up that's why they're not comfortable you definitely need to size up and um, I got these I can't remember what size I got them but they are actually a men's shoe and so I feel like I probably should have gotten a nine because I think I got these in an eight and a half in men so yeah but I have the shoe stretcher in here because to kind of stretch them out a little bit and I think when I got these I was still smaller like I've gained weight in, over the past year or so and so I think that's why they now definitely don't fit because my feet have gotten bigger too so yeah so I don't know I think I may sell these i I'm strongly I'm strongly feeling like I'm gonna sell these so but they are these were I think I paid um, over $900 for these yeah yeah I paid $900 for some shoes that I don't even wear so that's why I am so adamant about if you you know like the designer piece get the dupe first because if you like the dupe then you know you're gonna wear the designer piece and some designer pieces just because they are designer doesn't mean they're you know comfortable you know and so if you can find the alternative then you know that's the best that's the best route to go um, so I did find an alternative to these they are not exactly like the Prada ones but they are close enough and the ones that I found I'm gonna pop the picture up here and these are some penny loafers that I found on mango and I love the color of these I haven't seen these up close in person but just based on the website they look like the same color as my Prada ones so if you I think a lot of people what attracts a lot of people to my Prada loafers is the color because they like the color because that's one thing people ask me is what color are these um, or, or my Prada loafers and so I think they like the color that's what really catches people eye I think because they like the color of those so these that I found on Mango are they look like anyway that like they are spot on color to my ones by Prada so if you like the Prada loafers you know you like the look of them as far as the color then these I feel like from Mango are definitely a good dupe and these are only what $139 compared to $900 for my Prada ones the only thing that I'm paying for as far as the Prada ones is the logo this has no logo on them. the ones for Mango have no logo on them so they definitely are a good bet and I think these are 100% um, leather so yeah these are yeah 100% bovine leather so you're getting you know genuine leather shoes for a fraction of the price that you would pay for the Prada one so if you've been looking out for the ones from Prada if you've been following me and you've been wanting and you like the ones from Prada I definitely say get these and try these out and if you love these and you wear them a lot then maybe get the ones from Prada which that color from Prada it's hard for me to find those because they kind of go in and out of stock so it's hard to find those so yeah I would definitely go with the ones from Mango you know you're saving a little bit of coin so and you're looking you know getting the look for less so but that's it so those are all the shoes now we'll get into we'll do the sunglasses next all right so um let me show you guys um because i don't have the actual sunglasses for these particular dupes um but i did find a dupe of the celine triumph sunglasses i think is what they're called i want those um i'm thinking about getting them but um in the meantime i got the dupe and i'm going to share show you pop a picture in just a second or let me just pop a picture now. I'll pop a picture now of the ones that I'm talking about that I got from J. Crew Factory. They just had recently had like 50% off um, 
for the weekend just this past weekend as I'm recording this video and I saw these on the on the website and had to scoop them up when I saw them they immediately reminded me of the ones by Celine the Celine Triumphs and so I just wanted to try these out and see if I wear these a lot then maybe I'll get the ones from Celine if I can find them because the one from Celine they keep going in and out of stock at least in like this um what do you call it like tortoise shell color so I found these on J Crew and just absolutely love these these were only $14.50 $14.50 for these compared to the ones from Celine which I think are 500 I think they're 510 dollars I found them on Saks Fifth Avenue and yeah they're 510 dollars and the last time I checked they were out of stock they're back in stock so and and I found these on um, Saks Fifth Avenue so that yesterday they were out of stock so now they're back in stock so they just kind of keep going in and out of stock the uh, tortoise shell ones so I'll pop a picture and share you show you guys what the Celine ones look like but yeah so you guys can see they're kind of similar like I think the the eye the cat eye is a little bit different or the shape of the uh the shape of them is a little bit different but the color is i feel like a spot on but yeah i'm gonna try the ones from j crew if i like those and i wear those a lot then maybe i'll get the ones from celine like i said that are 500 dollars. so 1450 compared to 500 dollars. i mean it's a no-brainer right if you can get the you know the the alternative or the designer alternative so but yeah i love these and i've been seeing the ones from celine styled up and i love them i think they're so chic and just so cute and just sophisticated and so i was like let me try try out the ones from j crew and see how i like them so that'll be coming soon i did actually did a whole order i order a few more pieces from that haul so just be sure to check out you know stay tuned for that um haul video i'll share with you guys what i got from j crew factory but yeah i'm gonna try those out and see if i like them if i do i'm gonna get the ones from celine but yeah i love those and i hope you guys too so i will link those down below too like i said i don't have them yet but i will get them and give you like a full review of them but so those are the celine sunglass dupes all right and the next um sunglass dupes that i want to share with you guys are the ones from Lueve, and i think they're called the Lueve inflated cat eye sunglasses and these retail for like three around 300 360 350 360 300 dollars and so i love them and they are very trendy um i think i saw a lot of like my some of my favorite fashion influencers styling these up in one of the during some of the, a lot of the fashion weeks that that just happened recently so they were all over the place everybody was wearing these sunglasses and i just couldn't help but to try and find the designer dupes and i did i found them on amazon let me show you let me just show you how obsessed i was with these sunglasses and how many versions of them i have i got them in the white i got them in the red i got them in the yellow i got them in the blue i got them in the pink and i got a different kind of like square more of a squared shape i got them in like these this is like a turquoise kind of blue color and i also got them in the black in kind of this shape but i don't know what i did with them um i have to find the black ones but i also have them in the black so what is that seven pair of sunglasses of the way they dupes that i found and all those i found on amazon so and they were very very affordable like probably less than twenty dollars and some of these i got in a set of like three and so yeah like they look exactly let me show you these red ones because i think i showed you guys the way they um version in red so you see how these look just like the ones from the wave except they don't have any kind of logo or branding on them to make it seem like it's a replica or anything um because replicas by the way if you don't know the difference between a dupe and a replica a replica is it's something trying to be something it's not that's a replica um and it has like the branding on it and it's not really what you know it's not really the designer piece it's just a replica of it and like it has it would have the Loewe branding on it if it was a replica but this has no branding on it to say that it is trying to be you know Loewe even though it is inspired and it looks just like Loewe so um but so that's kind of like the difference between replicas and dupes you know just google it you know I'm not gonna do a whole lesson on that but um but yeah I love these and like I said I wasn't gonna spend $300 although $300 is a little bit more a little bit more reasonable compared to like five or six hundred dollars for some sunglasses but because like i said these are trendy i would never probably wouldn't spend that much money on the, on the original way they ones i probably just wouldn't just because yeah why would i when i can get the look for less with the alternatives you know the little dupes so um but yeah i will try to you know link those for amazon down if you want to you know check those out as well but yeah these are actually really good quality too like they're pretty substantial um you know pair of sunglasses and I, they're just fun you know they're just funky and fun you know something to 
you know just add a little bit of you know something you know fun you know to your look you know they're not anything classic or you know yeah so but they're still fun you know if you want like to add a little fun if you're like very fun with your fashion then I feel like those are you know some cute sunglasses to add to your look so but definitely feel like you should definitely get the alternative as opposed to the dupe but if you're a type of person that you feel like you'll wear the dupe more or you'll wear the original ones more then just get the original ones like I said they're they're not as expensive as some other glasses especially like the Celine ones that I told you guys were $500 300 is a little bit more reasonable but again if you're like me and you have so many sunglasses and you go you know through your sunglasses then you yeah, just get the alternative and it just just get the alternative anyway and if you like the alternative then you know get the original so but yeah so those are the Loewe sunglasses um, in the dupe version all right the last pair of sunglasses I have um, are a dupe of the actually two pair of sunglasses that I found that um, the sunglasses that I have um, are, are dupe of and one of them are from um, Saint Laurent and they are called the I think the mica sunglasses yeah the mica cat eye sunglasses and these are from Saint Laurent and these retail for about $420 so found these on Saks as well Saks Fifth Avenue um, so yeah currently they have them on the website for $420 and I also found another version similar to the Saint Laurent and these are by Celine and I don't know this doesn't have this doesn't have a name for the ones from Celine they just are um, just called cat eye sunglasses from Celine and they have like the signature Celine little logo on the cat eye frame part of it like the front part of the cat eye frame and so yeah so these cat eye sunglasses that I see styled up all the time and they're mainly the ones I see are the ones from Saint Laurent and I actually found those the original ones from Amazon I have them in my you know wish list and I'm just trying to decide if I want to get them um, but I have the alternative here so these could be an alternative to the Celine's or the one from Saint Laurent and I've had these in my wardrobe for a while two probably a couple of years now um, before I even knew that they were a dupe of anything and so I just think they're just so chic and just so classy and just so sophisticated like yeah like they look it just goes with my look right like just put on these sunglasses and you look automatically look expensive without even you know even they're not even even though there's not even like any kind of branding name or anything like that they still look elevated and still look chic and just kind of you know add a little something something to your to your look you know a little you know bit of classiness to your look so but I definitely love these um dupe ones and like I said I wanted to get the ones from Saint Laurent but I like the dupes so well and they look good with all of my outfits it's like why would I get why would I get the original ones why would I get the you know designer piece but I don't know I think I eventually will get the ones from Saint Laurent those are the ones I really want I think I may eventually get them I don't know we'll see but I definitely like the alternative ones from Amazon so yeah like I said I've had those in my wardrobe for several years and they're still available on Amazon so I will link those down below too but yeah, so those are the dupes of the Saint Laurent and the YSL sunglasses. So, and I think that's all the sunglasses that I have. Yeah. So now we'll get into the handbag. All right. And the next dupe I want to share with you guys is a dupe of a handbag by a handbag by uh, Prada, and it's the Prada Crochet Tote Bag. And this bag retails on Prada for two thousand fifty dollars. No there's no way I would pay $2,000 for a tote bag for a straw tote bag at that like Prada must have lost their mind again all you're really paying for is the logo because the material I'm sure is not you know all that great I mean I'm sure it's good quality but again you're paying for the logo for this tote bag this straw tote bag for real so but I did have I do have some dupes that I've gotten um, over the past year some of these or one of these I actually guess re recently got from mango so let me just share with you this one so this is my little dupe here that I got from mango it's just a straw bag it looks similar to the one by Prada it's just the shape is a little bit different I think Prada actually sell one in this version with the shape like this that has Prada the Prada logo on the front um, but this is just my little dupe that I got from mango recently so if it's still available I will link it down below um, but yeah it's just a cute little beach bag you know we're still you know in full swing in summertime so if you're looking for like a cute little beach bag you know something you know the look for less if you will then I think this is a good little alternative and yeah I don't go to the beach a lot so I don't feel like I need to invest in a beach bag like that so like if I lived 
close to the beach or lived you know in a beach town maybe i would invest in that prada bag because i know i would wear it you know every day i probably go to the beach every day like that's just how much i love the beach but because i don't go every day and i would go probably once a year if that then i just go with the you know little designer dupe so yeah this is from mango and then i have two other ones because i think this one by prada comes in several colors i think it comes in a white um it comes in pink and blue orange it comes in like a green like a sage green and so i think it comes in a white tube and a black so um it comes in different colors so this one is probably more so closer to the dupe from prada and this one i got from h&m i think i got this last year from h&m so i don't think it's still available but i will try to find it and link it down below or the alternative anyway so yeah i got it in this kelly green color and i just absolutely love it like looking at the picture and looking at this it looks just like the one from prada so um but i got it in this green color and i just absolutely love it and then i also got it in like this magenta pink color you know this barbie pink color i think is really cute right now uh this pink you know color is really cute and popular and trendy right now so yeah i got the same bag just got it in a pink so yeah this is from h m so yeah so the the designer dupe definitely hits better than the actual designer one and i think i found one on um amazon also that has like paris on the front of it where you I mainly see prada it has paris on it so i will link it down below too because i think it's still available on amazon i think i have it in my amazon storefront which by the way in case you're new here i do have an amazon storefront if you guys want to check out some of like my favorites from like fashion beauty books um tech like all kinds of categories i have on my storefront so check you know my storefront out too if you guys are interested in you know some you know nice pieces um that i found or that i like from amazon and my amazon storefront is always linked in my description box as well so um but anyway back to the bag so that's just a cute little you know those are some cute little dupes that I found just like over the years that um, it's a dupe of the one from Prada. So definitely wouldn't invest that much money, that kind of money, especially not $2,000. Maybe, maybe, I'm, I wouldn't even invest it hundreds of dollars. I just wouldn't, no. I, I was gonna say maybe three or four, but no. I wouldn't even spend three or $400 on a tote like that because I don't even wear the ones that I got that much. So yeah, I would definitely not get my money's worth. So definitely go with the alternative route and I will try to link some alternatives down below too in the description box for the Prada tote. But yeah, so that's the Prada tote. All right, and the next handbag I have is this one here. And this is a dupe of the Givenchy. Um, Antagona bag that I think I shared this definitely shared this um, in a recent haul this is from H&M this little alternative or this dupe um, and it's from H&M I'm just recently got it, it still has a tag on it. I haven't even worn this yet and yeah when I saw this on the site like I just had to scoop it up because I've been wanting the one from um, Givenchy the Antigona one for years and just never bit the bullet to get it I probably would get it on the secondhand website or the secondhand market um, but I saw this one from H&M and just had a scoop it up. It also comes in black, so I may go back on there and get the black one. And it's definitely affordable. I think maybe $30 is what I spent on it. And the one from Givenchy, I think is like, you know, in the 2000s. Actually, I think it's a little bit under 2000, I, I believe, if I remember correctly. But anyway, it's definitely in that, you know, close to hundreds of dollars or thousand, you know, close to thousand dollars. So as compared to, you know, 30 or 40 for this one from H&M, but I absolutely love it. And like I said, it's a really nice, good dupe of the one from uh, Givenchy. And I love like this camel color to it as well. So um, definitely a little, um, you know, designer look for less. And, you know, it's not the best quality, obviously. I mean, it's the straps is definitely not the best quality. Um, but you know, the look for less is what I say. So just a cute little like running errands bag. So, or that is the next little dupe and that is the Givenchy Antigona dupe. All right, and the next few dupes um, are gonna be handbags of some Bottega dupes. Um, you know, we love a good Bottega moment. Um, I know I do. Probably the majority of my dupes are from Bottega or Bottega inspired. So, um, so the first handbag I want to share with you guys is the I think it's called the Bottega Teen Jody. So it's the Jody, but it's a little bit bigger size from the Jody, and it is $3,500. So I have a few dupes here that I've gotten. Um, 
And I've gotten these just recently off of Etsy. Um, Etsy has kind of been like my go-to here recently for like designer inspired. So um, I have one here in black color. And I, like I said, I got this from Etsy from the same seller. And I tried to find um, and link these because I love these. And these are the best probably Bottega dupes that I found as far as the big size. And the seller is no longer even available on Etsy. So I'll try to find some you know alternatives for you guys um, down in the description box but just to show you what I have um, so I have one in black I have one in yellow a little of this yellow one I think this is the last one that I got from the seller before they just went MIA <laughs> um, this is probably my favorite one in like this camel color I absolutely love camel and so love this one so yeah got it in the camel and then also got it in like this green like pistachio green color just thought this was a different color to get so yeah so I have these all of these here that I got from Etsy and these are a spot on like Bottega Jody dupe like they are spot on and I love these and I wear them all the time and I hate to even go on and on about on and on and on about those particular ones because they're no longer um, available on Etsy but like I said I will try to find you guys some dupes um, from other places if I can um, so yeah so those are the Bottega Jody and the teen version I said and like I said those originally cost 3500 for the actual Bottega ones so yeah I love Bottega but I don't know if I would spend that much money for it and I've heard that the resale value on it on those bags aren't the best anyway so if I wanted to resell it I probably wouldn't get my money's worth out of it honestly so for me I'm finally getting just you know just getting the alternative so um and then so i also have a few dupes of the the mini jody and the mini jody i'm just looking up here on my phone the mini jody retails for 26.50 so it's about a thousand dollars cheaper than the bigger version and i have just a few here as you can see i have a lot not just a few um but i have one in a black i think this is from amazon amazon have a lot of these mini ones i can't find the bigger ones but they definitely have a lot of the smaller ones and these aren't even all the ones i have i think i also have one in like a green color um yeah def definitely have one like a chartreuse green color but i'm just sharing with you guys these ones but yeah so this this one i figured out from amazon so yeah so it's a definitely a dupe of the mini jody and then this one i got off etsy off that sale that i told you guys this mia i can't find so this is more of like in the denim version and then i have this one kind of like in a camel color and then i have like the metallic gold and silver so these are definitely you know pretty good dupes of the one from uh, Bottega the mini Jody from Bottega like I love these and these I probably spent maybe 30 40 dollars for each so you just can't go wrong with the dupes I say because they're more affordable and you get to look for less and I love a Bottega moment like I said so love those and the next Bottega dupes I have are these, and I think these are called um, Bottega, the Bottega version. Um, it's called the tubular bag, I think is what it is. And it just basically just looks like little spaghetti strings or something. Um, I don't think Bottega sell these anymore. I don't think they're in stock or anymore, or, out of, or just like discontinued, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I do have the little, um, my little versions that I got, my little dupe versions. These I got from, I think I got these from Ego Shoes. And I do believe they are still available on Ego Shoes. I've also seen these again on Amazon. Um, I think I've seen them also on Etsy. And these aren't the best quality, I will say, out of all the Bottega dupes I have. I don't highly, I don't recommend these at all. Because um, you just, there's, I can't fit a whole lot in here. Not that I would need to fit a whole lot. But, yeah, I mean, they're just cute. They're good, cute little, like, artistic pieces, I feel like. Like walking art, if you will. And, yeah, these, these definitely aren't the best dupe that I have. Um... But just to kind of show you the dupes that I do have in, you know, higher end pieces. Um, yeah, this one is actually a little bit more stiffer than this one. This is a little bit more, like, flimsier. But I hardly ever wear these bags. So, and I didn't spend probably more than $30 on them from Ego Shoes. But I will link some alternatives down below again if you want, again, want to look for less. But I think those are all the bags. I think those are all the accessories just in general. So, now we'll do the um, clothing. All right, so I just have one clothing item to show you guys a dupe for. And so that is the Frankie Shop. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Frankie Shop. It's not, you know, um, a designer brand as far as like on a scale of like Prada and, you know, YSL. But it is more of a more premium brand. Um, 
and I love this brand. I think they have some cute, unique pieces and this particular shirt that actually the shirt that I have on now, this is um, actually from Zara, but this is a dupe of the muscle tee shirt or that I think it's called the Eva padded shoulder muscle t-shirt. That's exactly what it's called because I'm looking at it on the website. Um, so this is um, a piece that I think it's, I think this is what got the Frankie shop kind of on the map if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I'm wrong but um, I feel like this is what really got people talking about the Frankie shop is this muscle tee. I think this came out several couple of years ago maybe and everybody was wearing these muscle tees and they still are. They're not wearing them as much as they were a few years ago because I feel like I've seen them all over Instagram, all over Pinterest, all over over YouTube everybody wearing these muscle tees and so they are $75 so um, I feel like you know this is what I would like to call like an elevated basic you know it's basic t-shirt but it's elevated because it has the muscle tee um, or the muscle detail or like the sleeveless detail with this like shoulder pad so um, I think that that's what makes it more of like an elevated basic so if you're a person that you love to wear basics and that's all you wear is basics and you love basics and that's pretty much your wardrobe then it's good it's probably worth investing in the one from the Frankie shop I have never had one so I don't know the quality but I from what I've seen from reviews and other people talking about it it is a good quality brand and the t-shirt is also good quality so if you want something more elevated then you know you're gonna wear you know you're gonna wear a t-shirt all the time like I know I love t-shirts but for me because I like to switch it up and it's I don't have like a capsule wardrobe um, I feel like if you had a capsule wardrobe investing in the one from the Frankie shop would be a good idea but if you're not you don't have a capsule wardrobe and you just kind of change out your wardrobe a lot then I feel like finding an alternative you know or the dupe is you know the wrap the best route to go which is what I did because I have several of these muscle tees that I've gotten over the last few years from different brands like I said this one here that I have on is from Zara and it's just a plain white one goes with everything and then I also have a gray one here that I got from Mango. I think I got this last year. Um, I think I got a lot of my, my ones that I do have, I think came from Mango. So this is just kind of like in this gray color. And then I also have one in like this stripe color. This is also from Mango. Um, so yeah, has the muscle detail, muscle or shoulder pad muscle detail here. And then another one I have, this one is from, I don't know where this is from. I don't recognize this brand, but yeah, I have another one here that's kind of like in this kind of like beigey kind of color so um so I have several of these these aren't even all the ones that I pulled from my closet these are just, just a few of the ones I just kind of like randomly pulled out of my closet but I just I have some in black or I have one in black I have one in um green I have one in like a chocolate brown um an orange one like I have so many different colors I have all the colors except for or navy so I think I'm gonna try to find a navy one um, but I did find the dupe I did find it on Amazon it's actually on my Amazon storefront if I'm not mistaken so um, I did find a version of these on Amazon that um, I will link down below for you guys if you love these kind of t-shirts um, so yeah so I found some on Amazon for like $22.99 so you can't beat that $75 compared to $22 $23 I mean it's not that much of a savings but it is a savings nonetheless and on the website or on the ones from Amazon they have it in a white they have it in a gray and like a Barbie pink and they have it in like in a beige and like a dark beige color so um, if you're interested in any of those and they like pretty good quality and they have really good reviews on them as well so um, $22 compared to 75 you know especially like I say if you're like me and you don't really have a capsule wardrobe and you know you want to look for less then these are perfect so um but those are the only clothing items that i have um that i have a dupe of so yeah so those are the next dupe and those are the dupes for the frankie shop t-shirt muscle t-shirts all right so we're gonna end the video here with some beauty pieces um uh, because you know we can save money on you know designer pieces um and on as far as like fashion but we also can save money on you know beauty you know because i am huge on beauty i love beauty items i don't talk about beauty stuff here that much on my channel because i know you guys follow me for my fashion but whenever i can put you guys on to some you know savings when it comes to you know all kinds of things in your life not just fashion um so um the first one i'm going to talk about is a 
brow um, item and it's for your brows and it's what I have on today actually and this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills the brow Wiz. I don't know if you guys know that brand or not or heard of it but this is what it looks like so it's just a brow pencil for your eyebrows if you this is gonna focus please focus please focus yeah now we're focused so yeah this is just a eyebrow pencil from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this I think retails for about 25 bucks if I'm not mistaken so it's pretty pricey up there for a brow pencil but I absolutely love it I get mine in the ash brown so that's what I have on now and I kind of go back and forth and I get these really I, st I stock up on these whenever Sephora is having like their VIB sale because I get a little bit of a discount and so I just yeah just absolutely love this brow pencil um and then um i found the dupe of it and it is from i don't have it opened up yet but this is from nyx and it is the micro brow pencil and this is what the packaging looks like i don't have it open i haven't opened it yet so but this is a dupe of the the one by uh, anastasia beverly hills and this one is I think $11 I get it on Amazon I think it's about 11 so half all you know half the price of the one from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I also get this one in the ash brown so it's funny that they both have the same <laughs> that the name of the color is the same so ash brown I get the ash brown in the um, one from NYX too so if you're looking for a good brow product um, I think both of these are perfect they both you know do give me the same color payoff um they both you know last as long they both they look the same they look similar i mean but um obviously one is more expensive than the other which is the anastasia beverly hills so if you've been using the one by anastasia beverly hills try to look up the one from nyx and get the your alternative shade um to the one from nyx just to save a little coin because they like i said they both you know apply well and yeah just one is at least you know not as expensive and like i said i i get this whenever sephora have their sale and i you know stock up on them and then when i run out of these i go to the nyx because you know if i can save a little money on my beauty products then i'm gonna do so as well so but that is the first beauty product and then the next beauty product i have i just recently started using this and stumbled upon this and it's by elf and it is the elf holy hydration makeup melting cleansing balm and this is what the packaging looks like and it's basically a makeup remover and um this is an alternative to the one by um the pharmacy i don't know if you guys have heard of that brand but they have a cleansing balm from the pharmacy that i was using religiously for several years and it's you know more higher end it's from sephora you can get it off sephora i don't know if ulta sells it or not i think you'd also get it off amazon um but they're both the same like they both do that you know melting of your makeup which i is so satisfying at the end of the day when i get ready to take my makeup off and it's so satisfying to you know scoop some of this up and just apply it to my face and just melt my makeup literally does what it says and so yeah this is an alternative like i said to the one by the pharmacy the one from the pharmacy i think retails for um about 30 dollars, i believe i'll try to put the price of it on the screen and this one of course is less expensive i'll try to put the price of it as well so you know it does the same thing it does the job just as good as a, of a job to remove your makeup as the one from the pharmacy so if you can just get an alternative to it then why not because i go through through these a lot because i wear makeup a lot and so i go through them so if i can save a little bit of money a little bit of coin then yeah i go with the alternative too so um, and this is what the actual packaging looks like outside of the box here and as you can see inside that's kind of like what it looks like so it's kind of similar to what the one from the pharmacy looks like as well and then it also comes with like a little scooper the one from the pharmacy does too so but from the pharmacy brand does too so if you're just looking for you know a makeup cleanser or if you are looking for a makeup cleansing balm because um, i love balms cleansing balms some people use like we'll just use like some you know other kind of makeup remover but i like the balms um i was using one from what was it the ponds but i didn't like it because it left like a greasy like greasy you know just left me greasy and i don't like when makeup bombs leave like that greasiness to them especially when i wipe it, wipe it off with a makeup wipe um i want to be able to kind of wash off the makeup wipe, wipe wipe off some of the makeup from um the makeup wipe and what i found with the ponds is that it just made the makeup white greasy <laughs> and just i was just applying grease back to my face so um i'm so glad that i found this one from elf because you know it's 
affordable and it does the same job and I'm able to wash it off like the one from the pharmacy like wash off after I you know cleanse my face and then use my makeup wipe then I just go under the sink under the faucet and just wipe the makeup off and just reuse it as opposed to having to keep reusing you know makeup you know wait makeup wipes so um so yeah so that is the beauty products that I wanted to share with you guys that I found some alternatives for all right guys that's it I think I showed you guys a plethora of alternatives to higher end pieces and beauty products so everything like I said I will share with you guys down in the description box if you're interested I'll share the designer piece as well as the you know designer or the affordable route so that you guys can kind of you know weigh your options of what you guys want but I love all of my pieces that I've accumulated over the years and definitely have a good collection of designer dupes because you know we can look good but we can also look good for less because it's not even about how you know what you're wearing and how expensive you know item that you're wearing is all about how you style it is what I say so but um yeah if you guys enjoyed the video and got a little bit of some help you know in finding those designer dupes and um yeah if you guys did like the video be sure to like and subscribe and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video all right bye guys